Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session, we will install Miniconda, which is nothing but it's a lighter version of Anaconda. Okay, Anaconda when you install, so it comes with uh, so many of packages. Okay, there are so many packages it gets installed in your PC and it takes a lot of space. Okay, so let's say if you are on a space crunch, okay, and you don't want to install Anaconda completely because most of the time it will happen that you may not use the the extra functionality that it gives and it is very rare to use right so if you want to have a lighter version on your system so you can go for miniconda okay so in this session i will show you that okay how you can install it and even i will give you that uh, one demo of it that okay how you can even create an environment okay so let's see okay okay so let me show you that okay how you can install miniconda so we can simply search for miniconda first of all why we are installing Miniconda? Because it's just a lighter version of uh, Anaconda, right? It doesn't come with the uh, Anaconda Navigator that is even not required most of the part. We will be using and you will see us even using more of a command prompt, okay? So instead of using Anaconda prompt or even Anaconda Navigator. So what I will do is I will install this lighter version of it, okay? It's a minimal installer for Anaconda. So I will click on this one and uh, just wait. It will take some time, okay? Okay, now you can see that there are so many requirements that you can see, you can pick any installer link. Okay, so let's say, uh, since we are on Windows, so we will pick uh, my this one. Okay, for this is for the latest release that is 3.9.7 and version is 4.12.0. So I will just go for the 64 bit. And if you are on any other, uh, like if you are at neither system, so you can check any one of it. So let's click on this one. So it will download the exe files. Okay, and uh, yes, it is started. Yeah, it's done. So what I will do is now I will pick up, uh, just click on this one and it will start installing it. Okay, so we click on next and uh, uh, we will, let me zoom in slightly. Oh, you will get this, okay, dialog box or uh, this, this box is open. So we will click on this next again and we will click, I agree. And it is recommended for, we will use it just for ourselves. So we'll click on this one and I will install it at this location. Okay, if you want to choose any different location, you can choose it then click on the next command and then it is says that okay whether you want to add it on environment variable or not i will suggest you to go for it why because uh, actually it can help you to uh, like let's say if you want to run anaconda or this conda commands from anywhere any terminal not only just specific to anaconda prompt so it can work okay so i will add it and it helps me a lot okay next is click on install and uh, it will install in a moment okay so if you click on the show details it will show you that okay what is trying to install and uh, once it is done then we can run any command and everything okay so let's let it finish so here it is i can see it's finished okay click on next and then if you want to uh, see these tutorials if it's okay and if you want to get started so you can click on this one but uh, right now it's not needed for us we'll click on finish and that's all okay it's done the installation is complete now so now let's verify whether it is installed or not so we can simply open a terminal or any conda prompt as well so if you click on this one so you can see it is uh you will find out here the yeah so you can see it's miniconda it's showing it's showing miniconda for me you may get it as a base okay i have done some configuration here so that's why it is showing me miniconda and if you want to do the same kind of configuration so you can simply go to this uh there on uh like you can go to the miniconda or documentation also of anaconda it works for everyone okay so we can just look for or even search for managing environment managing environment and uh, we can go for this anaconda managing environment if you click on this okay so you will get that like if you want to specify location for an environment then so if you click on this one so it will in this way if you just look for this command so it will actually help you to install into everything into your folder which is present by name envs that will be present into your um, like it will be present into your working directory only it will not install onto c drive and this is a very good idea actually too because let's say if you're working on a d drive and uh, even if you create any kind of content environment it gets installed into c drive so it ought like unnecessarily it actually it fills up the c drive okay it keeps on filling the c drive so it's better you create an environment in this way okay conduct it so you will see in most of my tutorial i will be using this command only majorly this command okay but once you if you're doing it for the first time so you will find out that uh, this kind of uh, path will become up okay in front of you so in order to change it so what you have to do is uh, you can go to your 
in into your conda arc file okay into this conda arc file you can change it okay you can change the configurations okay so so that it can it should give me the folder name right or for for that what you can do is you can just run this command conda config set environment prompt as this so once you do it so you will get start getting this kind of prompt okay so the way you should see here so it actually gives it gives you here if you just check it gives me the folder where this miraconda 3 is installed okay so let's say if i show you here on my desktop let's say if i go to my desktop here so let's remove this part okay i will delete it and then let's say if i click on a new terminal here open in terminal and now if i create an environment here so if i go for let's say conda create hyphen hyphen prefix okay and i will create an env and you can specify the python version and uh, you can even accept the changes that you want to have so if i click on this one so it will create an environment okay it will take some time to install it so it depends upon your uh, internet connection as well so as you can see it's right now it was downloading 3.7.13 version and you can see at the back end it is also creating an environment folder okay so yeah so it is done now if you now you can activate here so conda activate env so it will activate this environment which is present into that particular this folder right this folder whatever is being installed it's here if you want to check the content of it so we just select for a list of that environment so you will see these are the content okay it contains all the things that is needed to run that environment if i want to check the python version here also so you can check the version so it's 3.7.3 that's what i was looking for 3.7 version python okay so in this way you can install miniconda and you can activate it okay and that's all that's all for the lecture okay so keep on running and keep on exploring